My name is Joseph Gutz. I'm the Archbishop of Karachi. Karachi is the largest city of Pakistan. It's on the south on the Arabian Sea. It has a very large population of almost 19 or 20 million people. And we are about 200,000 Catholics in the Archdiocese. Now, in Pakistan, which is officially the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, we do have religious freedom. It is written in our constitution. But in reality, we face many difficulties because among the non-Christian population, there is prejudice and there is discrimination and even quite a degree of intolerance. However, the freedom is there. We have many churches and they're quite visible. Some of them are even a landmark in the city. For example, the cathedral in Karachi, which is um, more than 100 years old, is also declared a heritage monument by the government because it's an old, very impressive building. So the freedom also we have for schools, we have our own Catholic schools, and then we have hospitals and we have other charitable works like so many sisters working to, uh, for the handicapped children, working for drug addicts and different kinds of works. And there we have freedom. And whatever we do, it is not only for the Christians or for Catholics. Whether it is a school or a hospital or any other work, it is open to everybody. There is no restriction. In fact, in our schools, in our hospitals, the, the staff members, the teachers or the doctors, they are not all Christians. They are also Muslims. And in Karachi, we also have a number of Hindus. And we work together and we work for everybody. For example, if there is a disaster in the country, like in 2010, we had very big floods throughout the country. Again in 2013, then organizations like Caritas Pakistan, which is linked with Caritas Internationalis, all the help that came in was for everybody. In fact, the majority of those who profited from the relief work during the floods were Muslims, because very few Christians were affected. So we have freedom, but we also have difficulties in maintaining that freedom and in continuing to, to really live our Christian life and to be witnesses to our Christian life.